Well, if you are scratching your noggin about what to stuff in the Christmas stockings or what to give to that person who loves to cook and is always in search of something new, Gourmet Warehouse Diva chef and cookbook author Karen McSherry is here, chock full of Christmas ideas and Christmas joy. It is my pleasure to welcome Karen McSherry back to Studio 4 to show and tell us more. Whoa. My, my oh my. Oh my. And here's the thing, not everything is exceptionally affordable. We like that because uh, there were a few things from Inform that they were affordable mm -hmm. if you could make a couple of payments. Yes. It depends. Mm -hmm. You I know, mean, this is all, this is happy times for stocking stuffers, for little things. If right. you want to remember people, and, 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 and the sort of the thing for Christmas for me is you give because you want to give. I have no intention of giving to get. I love to just give oh. and make people smile. I'm and so with you. All these things can make people smile mm -hmm. and they don't break your mm -hmm. bank. So and we have a limit, uh, as some families do on Christmas, every year we make a decision. Mm -hmm. Right, this will be small Christmas, we say. Yes. Uh, this will just be kids Christmas, we say. But it never is. It never is. I know, it's all, you always end up doing just what you want to do. I know, you get the buzz. <laughs> I so know. So this, I like to plug local people. So um, James Nevison, who in years yes. past, they, they wrote mm -hmm. their first book, have had a glass have a glass wine, or whatever, wine wine. wine, 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 and they were big, and, and so you, everything under $20. So this one now is the little pocket compendium that can just fit right in your lapel. You can go to the liquor store, all wines under $20, and it's a perfect gift, seven ninety nine. dollars very much so, because uh, how many times are you waltzing around the liquor store not having not any having idea? Not having a clue, and whoever you want to ask wants to sell you the pomard, right. you know, 2000 No, under 20 bucks, great. It's great. Why so not if you the have bubblies a, and the reds and the melbecks and the okay, rosados this is hilarious. and the pinks? Okay, <laughs> I'm going to oh, start no. laughing. Okay, if you never know when your turkey's going to be done, how funny is this? You stick this into the turkey, and when the turkey's done, its legs go up. You're sure? So, um, well, it won't go up because it's, it's time to <laughs> no, heat. No, I know, I but understand. But so when it's done, the legs spring in the air, legs in the air. So what's how inside hilarious. that turkey? It's a timer. This is a this is a heat thermometer. So it, well, you stick it in, and the legs go up when you're. How much done. fun is that? I great, love it. Great stocking stuffer. Legs in air. Legs in air. Legs in air. Time mm -hmm. to take bird out, <laughs> out of oven. No, let's not and go it there. And won't melt. Never it's mind. Silicone, so it's good. It's reusable, reusable. How so lovely. So it's perfect. So it you're is. not buying the butter ball because you're buying a fresh turkey, and that will be that's sort of your mm -hmm. pin in mm -hmm. the air. But when it's done. Yes, of course. And. Oh. I and I know you don't overcook turkey. No. I know you don't. Never. Many people do, Kids, but you don't. Kids, things, fun, mm. Rudolph, little lip balms. Um, oh, I mm. better turn that up so Sue doesn't give me heck. So the yes. little characters are all there. Like, you know, just fun, inexpensive what fun. what age, I guess? Yeah. Well, any kid can mm. wear a lip balm, can't yeah. you? Yeah, well, when it's snowing and cold out, sure. you get chapped lips. There's and Hermes well, Peppermint Twist, there's Bumble's Blueberry Blast, and there's Rudolph's Rockin' Raspberry. Yeah, they're cute, hey? Boys wear yeah. lip gloss, don't well, they? Well, as long as it's not I don't know, pink. not my grandson. No. Probably not, probably eats lip gloss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, while we're on kids, uh, snowman poop, little hot chocolate packet with the, the little uh -huh. baby marshmallows, and you know, it's cute. It's cute. You and know what? You, you need inexpensive, cute things to put in a stocking, and these are I them. understand, and they do go through a phase. Mm -hmm. As you know, all children. Yes. Where they're fascinated by anything that has to do with poop. So, cooking, what is mm -hmm. that? Look at that. If you want to be fancy at the table and you want to bring your yam fries or your, your french fries right. or, or your whatevers, we're kind of going into the restaurant theme. So this is just a little bit of parchment um, checkered paper, kind of bistro style, mm -hmm. like the little diner thing. You stick that into the form and you could do this with bread or breadsticks and then you could stick your fries oh, or your breadsticks in there. Inexpensive fun, it makes you look like sort of a, mm -hmm. a, a, a diner, a restaurant, a fancy. Mm -hmm. Bring, bring a little pizzazz to your table. And and you could do, you know, you could stick little cakes like, like you know, brownies or squares or whatever. So, yes. just something different. Good idea. And yeah. when you do your yam fries, do you have any special tricks or mm -hmm. anything? I rub it with Moroccan rub. First of all, a little bit of olive oil, cube up the yams, Moroccan rub, and then into a nonstick fry pan at high heat mm. until they brown. Great. Okay, no lid because the lid will make them soft and we like crispy. Mm -hmm. We do, and, yeah. and I suppose you could do that with white potatoes too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. They, you it works could. perfect. Mm -hmm. um, colorful, fun knives for the cook in your great, house. Great, great, great. Um, 
the, it just and those are sharp. Yeah, they're very sharp. So that just slips Look off. Look at that. The one. blades, they're all the matching colors. So it, it's fun. They're twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a fun thing. Sure. Uh, made by a Swiss company. They're very cute. And great for a picnic basket. Uh -huh. It's all good. And who doesn't need a paring knife? I know. And great for the stockings. Mm -hmm. The stockings can be expensive. I know. And as and you know. And you don't want it to look so nasty cheap no. that you you know you kind of ran to Seven Eleven. Nothing no, wrong exactly. with Seven Eleven. No, Christmas but, is about love yeah. and giving and sharing, mm -hmm. and that's the essence of Christmas. One of the best. She says. She says. Just to remind us yeah. gently, <laughs> go to the Union Gospel <laughs> Mission and yeah. write a check. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, one of the best bakeries in Italy, the Swan. Of course. Um, these uh, we flew in, and it is a panettone, and it isn't like the, the dry sort of <coughs> choke right. panettone where it's you have to make bread fruit. pudding. This in one it, doesn't. Right. This I just like them plain. This one Me has too. a little bit of raisin in it, but they're wonderful. And the little minis, mm -hmm. they're great for French toast. They're great for panettone, and they're lovely with the cappuccino when you wake up in the yes, morning on Christmas on when Christmas you're not morning, cooking. When of course you're not. What do you do on Christmas morning? We have raw oysters at our oh, house, do you? but we always have panettone eggs. and uh, cappuccino. I get a great big one. Oh, that's a yeah. plan. And we have a we have one at the store. We have a 10 kilo panettone. Mm. For all of you that are listening right now, we have a 10 kilo panettone that will be auctioned off. Uh, at the end of this week, it's a toonie to enter the draw, and all the money for the draw is going to um, buy food, food only, for the kids in my hood at the two Strathcona School and Hastings East School. Fantastic. So and we're back up to, to the real meaning of the season. dollars we've raised so far. How wonderful. Toonie. So if anybody That's wants fabulous. to phone up and get a raffle ticket, 10 mm -hmm. kilo. Okay, and if you don't, we've got... Uh, Boozy fudge from Scotland. Come on. So one's got Macallum in and one has um, Glen Fiddick. That's good scotch. I know. Both good single malts. Really good. And, and it's just nice fudge. You know, Grandpa likes fudge. Somebody likes fudge. And you give it a little kick so he can sit there quietly while everybody's screaming and he can go into his own world. Of course, which he does mostly anyway. Yeah, so now you've got fudge. <laughs> Fudge is good. Peanut butter fudge is one of my favorites. I love I peanut have to butter. Say. Okay, peanut how butter cute fudge. are those for your a little cook? Little mm -hmm. if first apartment, first everything. They're actual grinders, so they oh, will grind, um, and they're inexpensive. And in a all pair. restaurants should have those because I know. some restaurants still have the shaky shaky. No, you don't shaky shake. You walk out if you're shaking. I know. You go no no. No shaking. So how cute are those? Those for, are cute. You know. Anybody traveling, camping, exactly. I love Back those. to the picnic basket. You can have mm -hmm. a very trendy picnic basket be. when summer comes. Uh, red wine and chocolate with port, with okay. Merlot, and with Cabernet. And there Ooh. are discs formulated in the flavors that will match with that wine. So if you wanted to give somebody a bottle of Cab or Merlot or a bottle of port, you'd take these little chocolate I tins. I see, and as then, an addition. Yeah. Because when you travel around to the different parties, if you're invited to one, not many this year, I private know. parties. I know. I've been or to a few. am I just not in the list? <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, that great uh, hostess gift. It's great. Great and, hostess And it's so gift. nice. And, and it's a little, it makes the add-on look a little bit better. Mm. And, and they're $6. So, okay. you know, it's really, really inexpensive. Affordable. We like that. Um, let's um, go with this for barbecue. With, we're in the food thing. Pit mitt. So that, you know, when you get in there and you've got, if you wear your cloth glove, it will burn if you get too close. Yes. This pit mitt's got a bit of silicone in it here so you can get a good grip and then you don't burn your arm or singe the hair off your arm okay. if you have and any. And it's also trendy. Yes, very trendy, very sexy, black, yeah. you know. No, there I you know. go, and it's called pit mitt. It's very masculine, you know. Very. And slap around the kids while yes. you're doing the same of course. thing. Yeah. So if, <laughs> okay, now we're getting a call from Human Resources. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. We were you kidding. You were just kidding, I'm weren't you? I'm kidding. Everybody needs to lighten know, up and have I a... I know you, kid. We're, we're yeah, lightening we up. Are. Just take that back. Yeah, I, I took it back. <laughs> okay. Ooh, um, the just diva, girly the girl. diva mug. You know, you need something for a little, mm. you know, teenager or whatever. It's a cute little mug, uh, some with dresses, some with shoes. Any age, tan yeah. on. And and it's in a nice little box, so now you've just right. alleviated the wrapping issue. Exactly. And and again, under $10, Yeah. which is really important. Really important, because it, when you're 10, sometimes you drop your mug. Mm -hmm. How cute mm -hmm. is this? That's Mr. Cute. Jamie Oliver comes to life of in course he does. a pinch bowl. So that's the pepper and the salt, and you get the little pinch bowls, and it's very and cute. And it's Jamie Oliver designed, and you can put a yes. Jamie Oliver cookbook, some you of the could, best cookbooks. You could. Uh, Along and with the Karen McSherry cookbook. Yeah, where's your copy? Right, where's mm -hmm. my copy? My copy's at home. Okay. So in a pinch? In a pinch, yeah. My in a pinch this is at is home in a being pinch. used. Okay, good. This is pinch it baby, not to be confusing. 
<laughs> okay. Pinch so it, that's kind of cool for the cookie person in no, your life. That's great. And again, like it's an, an eleven dollar gift. Okay. You can't lose. Can't this lose. is for you and I. I may we, have to do all my shopping at your store. <laughs> we love wine. So mm -hmm. this would be a wonderful little thing to you know for wine and cheese or like a, a sharing right. thing. Little carafes. You get the little flights of wine. It, it, I love it. I think it's darling. So a wine tasting yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, kind of a so wine you tasting. Say three whites or a red, white, yeah. pink or yeah. something like that. Any of. Oh. Isn't that cute? How interesting. It, yeah. I love it because it's it's small, so you're mm -hmm. not going to get schnockered. No. Well, unless you filled it up twice, maybe. Well, we can't get schnockered because we have to drive. No. And no, we're, roll, we're taking a cab, safe. you and I. I we're know. Taking it took me three cab. hours the other night to get a taxi in our city. I know. Three hours. I... Uh, yeah, they hung up on me, one girl. I said, no, you don't have to be No, at 2 in so the morning, short. I was at the hotel in a lineup <gasps> with people who had been to a few too many parties. I'm not kidding. Three, Three uh, hours. You might as well have gotten a room and, you know, walk or walk. Well, home. I needed a new pair of high heels because my feet were <laughs> killing me. Anyway. Kids baking. Really cute, all silicone. Oh. Um, silicone's usually good for two to three thousand uses, and it's great. You can't break it. You can you can cook with it. It can go into the freezer. So if you wanted to make little ice cream balls right. in there, you could and freeze them, roll them in nuts. Sure. Um, it, cute An little basting. Could use this. Yeah, it's it's a lovely little it's baking five set plus. for your kids. And silicone is the the latest greatest, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Nobody's buying the hard tins anymore. No, because the tins, if you don't wash and dry them right away, they'll rust if they're tin. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if it's the cheap non-stick, it peels off and you mm -hmm. ingest it, so that's not good. So silicone seems to be the baby now. Uh, yeah. It's the it's the flavor of of, of the twentieth. It's, it's great. I yeah. love it. And it's cute. And what kid it's doesn't want to bake? And when Valentine's comes, you can make little heart cupcakes or yeah, something. Yeah, very cute. And okay, then very cute. My very favorite. And you know what? I saw this in your makeup room years yes. ago, and I just fell in love with it. And when you're sort of, it, it's just soothing. Little fish that I know. Swims. Ours wasn't quite that trendy. It was a little more traditional. But it had uh, Nemo and Dory. Is it? Yeah, that, we'll I have that. to call it kid. Yeah, I kids think it's, no. Dory. I think it's Dory and Nemo. I know for sure it's Nemo, but I don't know that. I think Dory. And this one doesn't have, ours had a hole in the top. On the top. So the water kept evaporating and the batteries kept going The dead. batteries do go, but you turn it off. Mm -hmm. You have to remember to turn it off. But I think that is the cutest little thing. I yeah. loved it so much I brought them into the store. I think they're darling. Well, you know, our guests used to think these fish, they weren't in a bowl like this. They were in a, just a in regular a dish. fish bowl. We have bowl. that one too, the fish you do? bowl. And, and they, it looks real. Some of them would think they were real. I know. I'm not kidding. Well, it's early in the morning. <laughs> 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 Who feeds the fish, they'd ask. You'd, yeah, not me. Mm -hmm, not they, me. They actually live on air. Well, that is so great. They live on air. These Are these real, Karen? I know. I know. They mm -hmm. look terrific. Well, how wonderful. So, so you're so already, many... you've got the reusable turkey timer. Mm -hmm. Of course you do. And the kids, everybody's taken care of. And and you don't have to go broke. And I know that, you know, mm. if we flash back to the 80s that you and I do remember, sadly, yes. um, where everything was opulent and bag upon bag and more gold tissue and then ribbon and mm. then everything. And it was just the bigger was the better. Mm. And right now, it's the thought. It's the memory. It's sure. the I remembered you. Here's something. Think of. And, and, and I know. this is we all said, doable. Give us an adventure. Give us uh, an adventure. Give us a love and a hug. Yes. It's the love and the hug Christmas. Is it? I like Why a little not? bit more than a love and a hug. A little <laughs> okay. glass of wine in there. It okay. won't hurt me. That too. How nice to see you. Happy, and happy. You. Uh, Karen McSherry from the Gourmet Warehouse. Uh, and Shaw TV Vancouver, by the way, would like to invite you to its open house. Did you know about this? On, on Thursday, December 22nd from 3 to 6 p.m. You can meet our personalities and view the studios. And remember, you can catch all of our conversations on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at Fanny Studio 4.